Should I use paper or plastic bags? One of the many decisions you have to make as a business owner is how to present yourself to your customer. The small details of how you run your business could be the difference between whether a person comes back or not, so no point is too frivolous. When deciding what kind of bags to offer your clients, investigate each type of a bag's pros and cons. Here are some advantages and disadvantages to weigh when deciding which product is best for your particular customer. Plastic grocery bags vary depending on design, material, and style. Plain plastic t-shirt bags and thank you bags are the most common styles for businesses. Consider the pros and cons of offering plastic bags to your customers. The sanitary pro of plastic bag, due to plastic's non-porous nature, Bacteria and viruses do not survive well on its surface. Many cities around the world are encouraging the use of plastic bags over paper bags due to COVID-19. Plastic grocery bags are preferred over reusable cloth bags. Another advantage of plastic bags is their non-porous nature, plastic bags can stop leaks from escaping. Creating a barrier is incredibly helpful in the food industry or any business that deals with liquids where damaged or improperly sealed products can leak and make a mess in a customer's car or home. Plastic bags are flexible so they can adjust to different sized and odd-shaped products. It also makes them easier to pack, which can save time at the register. Let's consider a disadvantage of plastic bags. Some states are charging customers to purchase plastic bags to deter people from using them. Customers may be unhappy about having to pay anywhere from 10 cents to a dollar a bag just to bring their items home. As this movement gains popularity, you may want to consider whether your customer base will be upset about this additional charge. Paper bags also come in a variety of sizes and styles. Between bags with or without handles, white or brown, small lunch size, or large grocery size, the array to select from is appealing. Paper bags are sturdy and can typically hold more bulk and weight than plastic bags. Because of this, customers tend to use fewer paper bags than they would plastic, saving cost and supporting the reduction of waste. Since paper bags are more rigid, they can sometimes display a logo better when being carried. Brand identity is incredibly helpful in the retail industry, where customers may walk around a mall or shopping center with a virtual handheld billboard for your brand. There is much debate about whether plastic or paper is better for the environment, with pros and cons for each option. However, the general public is still mostly under the impression that paper is more environmentally friendly. If you're building a green brand, your customers may prefer paper bags. When choosing to provide paper bags consider the location and climate of your business. Are you in a city where you experience heavy rain? If so, you may not want to offer paper bags to your customers. Since paper bags are not water resistant, as opposed to plastic, they will dampen and tear easily, possibly aggravating your customers who are just trying to make it inside their house with their items. One final aspect to consider is the option to customize your bags, whether you choose plastic bags or paper bags. While there is a slight additional cost to customizing your paper or plastic, Grocery brands have been doing this for years to increase name recognition. Whether you put your business's name or logo on the front, your brand will stay with your customers for many uses. Are plastic bags worth banning? A considerable debate between environmentalists, lawmakers, store owners, and plastic bag manufacturers has been ongoing and continues growing. Though the debate and new laws primarily govern the use of plastic t-shirt grocery bags, not poly shipping and storage bags, some state and local municipalities have enacted new laws that restrict the use of these plastic grocery bags. To penalize retailers who do not adopt these new laws, local and state governments are levying fines or taxes on store owners who continue to use t-shirt style plastic bags. Environmentalists have produced most of the information about why to ban plastic bags. This leads to a misunderstanding by lawmakers and the public about the eco-friendly nature of plastic bags. Before jumping on the ban plastic bags bandwagon, consider the definition of bandwagon, which is as more people come to believe in something, others also hop on the bandwagon regardless of the underlying evidence. Let's look at some facts from the plastic bag side of the debate. When producing plastic bags, 
they create fewer greenhouse gases than in the production of both cotton and paper grocery bags. Plastic t-shirt bags use 70% less energy to manufacture than is used to make paper grocery bags. Water is a significant component in just about every manufacturing process, and freshwater is in every decreasing natural resource. Plastic bags use about 4% of the amount of water used to make paper bags. One of the most massive issues cited by environmentalists is the amount of waste generated by plastic bags and how they are filling much-needed space in landfills. Plastic bags generate 80% less waste than paper bags. Examining the entire environmental impact of paper versus plastic bags, one needs to consider the transportation cost of paper and plastic bags. The weight of plastic bags and their ability to be compactly packed is seven times more beneficial. One tractor-trailer truck transporting the same amount of paper pages would use seven trucks. Plastic bags that are manufactured overseas increase our dependence on foreign oil. In contrast, 85% of the raw material used is from American natural gas supplies. Unlike other types of plastic products such as plastic water bottles, plastic bags are not a single-use product. Think about all the different uses for plastic t-shirt grocery bags, such as lining trash cans, cleaning up behind your pet, and disposing of yard waste, to name a few. As opposed to placing a ban on plastic bags, the solution could be as simple as developing a more comprehensive wide-scale recycling program. Or store owners could offer incentives to shoppers by offering a discount for reusing their plastic bags from previous purchases. Let's all make an informed decision about both sides of the plastic bag debate before simply jumping on the bandwagon.